alone in thinking Sony's Xperia Z2 looks exactly the same as the Z1. That's because they are pretty much almost identical with the same metal and glass build that's both sturdy and premium. But with the Z1 just six months old, Sony's new flagship could be accused of making only incremental updates. But make no mistake, this is definitely not a made over Z1. And you'll be pleased to know it makes almost zero compromises when it comes to screen, sound, camera and battery life. On the design front, everything's looking just as gorgeous as before, if not even more so, thanks to a new 5.2 inch screen, which Sony has cleverly engineered into a thinner and lighter body that's beautifully finished with smoothly rounded corners and all glass back and machined aluminium edges, making the Z2 one of the classiest Android phones on the market. And with all the port flaps closed, it has the same water resistance rating as the Z1 and can even take underwater snaps. Now, one of the biggest criticisms of the Z1 was its poor viewing angles. And while viewing angles on the new 5.2 inch IPS display may not be quite perfect, the improvements mean it's no longer a critical flaw. In fact, Sony's screen is absolutely gorgeous. Its live color LED tech means colors are now even more vivid. And if you stick on a full HD video, you'll notice that contrast is outstanding with plenty of glorious detail. The same goes for apps, emails and web pages, which all look crisp and clean. You can even geek out by tweaking the white balance. Couple that with clear HTC One M8 rivaling loud stereo speakers and you're looking at a brilliant multimedia setup. But watch out for that black featureless front, it's a fiend for reflecting light and collecting fingerprints and specks of dust. And despite Sony's claims that its X-Reality engine enhances the picture, during our time with it we found it just seemed to overdo things. Now on the camera front, the Z2 is capable of taking incredible photos. That's no surprise considering it's packing a 20.7 megapixel Exmor RS sensor with an f2.0 lens. Stills are punchy, well exposed and have tons of detail to crop into across all the resolution options. Framing and autofocus are seriously speedy too, and with its processing power and brilliant screen, it's like you're looking straight through the smartphone. And as well as including tons of fun features like background defocus, Sony's kept its excellent manual controls too, like exposure value, ISO, white balance and focus mode, which is great as you won't always necessarily get the best shots from the Z2 superior auto function. Now it can struggle in very low light, but it's great at snapping faces without the need for the flash indoors. And videos come in 1080p and 4K flavors, and thanks to Sony's steady shot stabilization, footage is seriously smooth, even when walking about. And it's worth noting that after a couple of minutes, the Z2 often gets too hot, flashes up a warning, then abruptly stops shooting, which we hope Sony is working on fixing. But one thing's for sure, the Z2 is one of the best smartphone cameras we've ever come across. The Z2 also arrives with the latest version of Android KitKat, complete with Sony's customized interface, which is one of the smartest and cleanest around, while its Walkman movies and Music Unlimited apps are equally as user-friendly as Google's best. It can even run small windowed apps and widgets on top of another running app. Sony has also picked up the best gesture-based tricks of its rivals, so raising the phone to your ear answers a call, and tapping the screen wakes the device. And with a speedy 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 801 processor and 3 gig of RAM, the Z2 absolutely flies in use, which is probably in part down to the relatively uncluttered Android experience. In fact, we only really encountered really minor and infrequent hiccups when scrolling through the calendar or browser, as well as running small apps on top of others. And finally, when it comes to battery, the Z2s is reliably excellent and will always last you the day, which is helped along by Sony's stamina mode, which does a cracking job of conserving juice by powering down the phone's data connection when the screen's switched off. So the Xperia Z2 builds on the success of the Z1, resulting in a true converged gadget that takes amazing photos and plays video at ridiculously high quality. But unlike flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8, there are no standout features and some may find the toughened glass build a tad unwieldy. But if you are looking for an all round top performer that's constructed of the highest quality, complete with the latest cutting edge Android software, you'd seriously consider making the Xperia Z2 your next smartphone.